Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the problem longest contiguous subarray with absolute difference less than or equals to limit. We are given an array of integers and an integer limit written the size of the longest contiguous subarray such that absolute difference between any two elements is less than or equals to the limit. In case there is no subarray satisfying the given condition written 0. So we are given an array of integers let's say it is 8, 2, 4 and 7 and the limit is 4. So if we generate all the possible subarrays, we see that the maximum absolute difference. So instead of comparing all the absolute differences, we can simply find the maximum absolute difference, which is the difference between the smallest and the largest element in the subarray. So we try finding them for all the possible subarrays and we see that for 2 and 4, it is the difference is 2, which is smaller than the given limit. Also for 4 and 7, it is 3, which is again is smaller than the given limit. So the answer in this case is 2. The size of the longest subarray is 2. We see that we can solve this problem in big O of n square using this uh, by generating all the possible uh, subarrays. But then uh, this will not pass the constraints because the constraints are high. So we have to solve this problem in big O of n. Now let us look using the next example that how we can solve this problem using the two pointer approach we are keeping two pointers the start and the end pointer and we are keeping track of the maximum and the minimum element so we see that when we are at the zeroth index the maximum and the minimum is 10 and 10 and the difference between them is zero so okay also the limit was given as the limit is given as 5 so this is our limit limit is equals to 5 now we see that the limit is 0, so the answer is 1. Now next we move and to uh, the index 1. Now the minimum element will change to 1 and the difference would now be 9. So it exceeds the limit. So we will have to increment the start now. We have no other option. We have to increment start. Now once we increment start, our maximum element would change and it will become 1. Again the difference is 0. Now let us move end to the next index and the maximum element changes it becomes 2 the difference is 1 which is smaller than the limit so in this case the answer would also change and it will become 2 next we will increment and and in this case the maximum would change and it will become 4 now the difference is 3 which is again is smaller than limit and the answer will be updated and it will be 3 Next, we increment our n to 7. In this case, again, our maximum would change and it will become 7. Our minimum would still remain 1. Now the difference is 6 which exceeds limit. So we cannot update our answer and in this case, we have to increment start. When we increment start, our minimum will change and it will become 2. The difference is 5 which is equal to limit. So it is permissible and uh, we can simply have our answer as 3 so we are not going to update it next we increment and and now it is 2 so both the maximum and the minimum would not change and the difference is still 5 so the answer in this case would be 4 because the size becomes 4 so this is our final answer the final answer is 4 in this case we are able to do this in big O of n, but there's a problem. How are we going to keep track of the maximum and the minimum? So this is the problem which arises in the solution and we are going to tackle this using the DQs. The DQs is a data structure uh, in which we can insert at the front and at the end. Similarly, we can remove from the front and from the end in big O of one time. So this is what DQ is. If you want to study about DQ, I will provide the link in the description. Once you have done that, you can come back and try this problem. So, we are keeping the start and the end pointer again at the zeroth index. And we are maintaining two DQs. One, an increasing DQ, another decreasing DQ. So, initially our answer is equals to 1. And 10 and 10 is there uh, in our both our DQs. 
the incrementing dq will give us the minimum element at the front the decrementing dq will give us the maximum element at the front let us move and to the first position now this in uh, the element is one so we are going to insert one into the uh, increasing order dq so for that we have to remove all the elements which are smaller than one so 10 will be removed and one will be inserted in the decreasing one we can simply insert one so we see that the front of the dq which is incrementing give us the minimum element and the front of the dq which is decrementing dq will give us the maximum element the absolute difference between them is 9 which exceeds our limit the limit was 5 so it exceeds our limit so in this case we are going to increment s as soon as we increment s all those elements which are before s will have to be deleted from this dq so we have to delete 10 while implementing this in any programming language instead of uh, directly storing the values here we can simply store the index so that we can know that whether an index is before s or not so we have to remove all those indices which comes before s but for the sake of clarity i am just going to use the values here while implementing we can use the indices instead of values all right so moving on moving on the difference the absolute difference is zero in this case so we will increment and we have to insert two in the increasing dq we have to uh, okay we can simply insert two in the decreasing we have to remove all the elements which are smaller than two so one will be removed and two will be inserted now the maximum and the minimum are two and one respectively the difference is one which is smaller than limit so we will increment and and our answer will be two now next we will increment and and we will insert four four will be inserted and to insert four in the decreasing one we have to remove two and four will be inserted here now the front give us one here and it gives us four the difference is three which is, is still permissible and the answer will increment it will be three next when seven comes 7 will be inserted here for this we have to remove 4 and insert 7 to maintain the decreasing order now the difference is 1 and 7 the difference is 6 which exceeds the limit in this case we have to increment the start when we increment the start we see we have to delete all the elements which comes before start so 1 will be removed and now the elements the minimum element is 2 and the maximum element is 7 so the difference is 5 which is again in the permissible range and the size is 3 so we are not going to make any changes in our answer next we increment and and we reach the end of the array and the element is 2 so in order to maintain the increasing order we have to remove all the elements which are greater than 2 so 7 will be removed 4 will be removed and we can we can insert 2 here to maintain the decreasing order we can simply insert 2 here now the difference is 7 minus 2 which is equals to 5 which is also within the permissible range so the answer will be 4 so finally we will return 4 as our answer and we are able to do this problem in big o of n time and big o of n space all the operations whether they are insert or whether they are the remove operations in the dq is taking big of one and at, at max we are storing n elements in the queues so the space complexity and the time complexity will be big of n for the queue itself so this is it for the problem if you want to see the code I am providing it here you can see the code these are our two queues our start and the end pointers to maintain the increasing and the decreasing order we are simply popping those elements from the back of the queue and then inserting or pushing this element now from the front of the min queue we will get the minimum element from the front of the max queue we will get the maximum element as you can see that i am inserting the indexes instead of the values itself so that it is easy to remove this while we are incrementing s so as soon as we see that the uh, difference exceeds the limit we will have to increment s and we will have to remove all these 
elements which comes before s so this way storing the indices instead of values would help us and in the case when it is within the limit we have to maximize our answer and increment end so this is it for the problem thank you if you like the video please subscribe to the channel i will be providing solutions to the weekly contest on regular basis